happy new year happy new year everyone wow god is so good god has been so faithful i thank god for your life i thank god for my life i thank god for what with tina i thank god for bringing us this far and bringing us to a new beginning in the year 2024 so i want to talk to two sets of people today because i remember last year um in 2021 i guess yes i was asking god what scripture normally i'll ask god what scripture you know are you giving me to run with for the year and god gave me a scripture and that is in psalm 66 verse 12 and that scripture is let, let, let me read it now it says um psalm 66 verse 12 it says, you have caused men to ride over our heads. We went through fire and through water, but you brought us out to reach fulfillment. In so, some scripture, it says that you have caused men to ride on our heads. We went through fire, went through water, but now you have brought us to a wealthy place. Now, so last year, 2023, have been a rough year because... 2021 was very very rough for myself for my family it was actually very tough and i thought that was the peak of it you know so i felt that okay with this scripture that you know god is now bringing us to a fulfilling place to a wealthy place but huh, no this year then 2020 so we ran with it for 2022 now this year 2024 again i remember i was driving to church and i was asking god towards the end of the year and i said god please what scripture would you you know want me to run with this year because this 2023 have been so rough and you said you were bringing me to a, a wealthy place why do i have to go through you know this um this scripture like didn't really make much sense to me if you know what i mean and he gave me the same scripture again psalm 66 verse 12 and i will read it again to you he said you have caused men to ride over our heads we went through fire and through water but you brought us out to reach fulfillment again and i said okay so and the, at the time god was giving me it wasn't making any sense but as time went by and god was explaining to me and i got to understand what he meant by that and i want to speak to two people because what i do on world with you know, by the grace of god share my experience so that those who are coming and experiencing something like that they already have a guideline to go so now you say you have caused men to ride on our heads i know you know there are some some of us that are coming to our wealthy place this year by the grace of god 2024 and the weather place when i mean the weather place is not just a place where you make money if you're thinking of money 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 it's not just money it can be fulfillment of the promise of god in your life i don't know where god has whether you, you are a kind of person that have prophecies over your life it might be the year of the fulfillment of the prophecies over your life and it might be the year of that thing that you have been expecting god to do for you and god will do it for you it might be the world so some of us are actually stepping into that year in this into that fulfillment time wealthy place in this 2024 and there are another set that i want to talk to and this other set is are the people that are going to walk through that fire they're going to pass through that water but one message that i want you to hold on to is that no matter what happens please don't let go hold hold in tight there are so many things that I think time will not permit me to start breaking down, but by the grace of God, as we you know go into the months, into the year, I'll be able to be breaking down some things. There are so many, many things that you might have to pass through to get to that wealthy place. So it's not by accident that they say you have caused men to ride on our heads, that we went through fire, we went through water. I, I think you need to read my post. I, I posted you know on Sunday, you know, about some of the things that I have happened to me in 2023 so that it will not be so strange to you when you start experiencing them I, I pray for you that as you go through water you go through fire god that promised us that when you pass through fire you will not let it burn you when you pass through waters you will not let it drown you that god will hold you and bring you to your wealthy place in the name of jesus no matter the situation that will come your way in 2024 please continue to hold on to god 
Hold him tight. Don't let go. Don't fall. Don't give up on him. Even when you don't hear from him, don't worry. He's working something. Else. Even when it doesn't make sense at all, hold on to God. He will make it make sense in the end in the name of Jesus. And you that you are coming to your wealthy place in this 2024, please don't forget God. Don't be carried away and say, oh, because you need God to stay and you remain, you know, on top where he's taking you to need God to sustain the wealth that is going to put in your hands or in your life. You need God. Don't let go of God's hands. And as a matter of fact, don't forget as you marry, as you enjoy your fulfillment, as you enjoy your wealthy place in this 2024, don't forget that Christ is coming soon. Please always remember that. And I pray that the Almighty God, who is bringing us to our place of fulfillment, He will help us, He will hold us by the hand to not let us go. As we hold on to Him, we will hear our cry. Hear our prayers in the name of Jesus. God bless you. This year shall be a year of many, 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 many blessings, many, many good things, many, many open doors in the name of Jesus. Many laughter in the name of Jesus. God bless you. Thank you so much for all this journey. It has been an amazing journey. And I know that it will continue to be amazing. God bless you. I love you guys. Come on. God bless you.